Welcome to Last Epoch Explained. In this episode, we are going to talk about the most incredible itemization system in all of gaming. The legendary item system in Last Epoch. Legendary items in Last Epoch can be straight trash or they can be so broken you're wondering why the devs allow them to continue to be in the game like this. But that variance is extremely high and the chances of you getting a good legendary are extremely small. First of all, legendary items are unique items with additional affixes added onto them through one of two systems. We have the legendary potential system and we have the weaver's will system. Now the weaver's will system will go over first because it's much more simple than the legendary potential system and it's straightforward as well. And it can happen without you even trying really. All you have to do is find a unique item with an inherent weaver's will number on it and then you equip that unique item and there's an internal experience counter for that item that increases right alongside you as you level that item will also level up in the same way every time that item levels up the weaver's will counter decreases by one and when the weaver's will counter decreases by one a random affix that can be applied to that type of unique so a sword can't get max health on it for instance a random affix will be added to that item or a currently existing affix will have its tier increased at, to a maximum of up to seven and weaver's will can add up to four extra affixes on a unique item two suffixes and two prefixes and weaver's will incidentally can drop up to 28. now for the math aficionados out there that can divide 28 by 7 you'll notice that that equals 4. What that means is that if you happen to drop a unique item with a Weaver's Will value of 28, that guarantees four tier seven affixes on that item. And if they're all relevant to your build, now that is a sick ass item, truly worthy of a legendary item designation. Now unique items can drop with either Weaver's Will or legendary potential. They're mutually exclusive, so they can never exist in the same place at once. So let's talk about legendary potential now. So it's the opposite side of the same coin that creates a legendary right alongside Weaver's Will. Unique items that drop with legendary potential on them can have legendary potential of one, two, three, or four. Legendary potential one is quite common. You'll see that pretty often. Legendary potential two, kind of rare, you know, uncommon. Legendary potential three, very rare. You won't see that many of them until you start really farming and get many copies of a unique item to drop. And Legendary Potential 4, I've gotten one in like a hundred hours. Not hardcore farming, but like, you know, I'm not messing around. <laughs> like I'm still playing the game. Legendary Potential 4 is a lot. It's a lot, it's rare. But I'm sure that if you stack up enough corruption and get far enough into the late game and start utilizing dungeons and other such mechanics to start dropping a lot of copies of unique items, I'm sure you'll be able to find enough legendary potential for us. Legendary potential just means that you can combine it with an exalted item that has four affixes on it. Whatever value that legendary potential is on the unique item, it takes that many affixes from the exalted item once you mash them together. That's that's basically what it is. You have to go through a certain dungeon in order to access this special mechanic in order to do so. It's a much more complicated route to creating a truly legendary item than the Weaver's Will system. Now, of course, how complicated and how straightforward and easy these two systems are when compared and contrasted to one another is reflected in how high of a chance you have in creating truly powerful legendary items. A Weaver's Will, super low chance to drop at a high Weaver's Will, and a super low chance to get you all the affixes you want. It's all random, you can't control it. Legendary Potential. You have a fair chance, once you start dropping a lot of copies of an item, to drop it with a high value Legendary Potential, but then you have to also get a good exalted item in order to transplant it, and then you have to go through the entire dungeon. And that dungeon that you have to go through is fairly difficult. It's a really cool dungeon, but it is fairly difficult. But all in all, you'll have a higher chance, but it takes a much longer time to craft your own Legendary item as opposed to letting the Weaver's Will craft it for you. For example, I was playing through the early game again, just leveling, just enjoying the sights, and then I dropped these boots, and they dropped with Weaver's Will on them, and I was like, okay, wow, that's awesome, let's see what they roll on them, and they roll amazing affixes, especially for leveling up. So even that early in the game, legendary items can make a gigantic impact. Are you likely to get one? Definitely not. Can they be absolutely insane and the top end of them is unfathomably high and can essentially over double the amount of effectiveness that you can get from any one item slot? 
Yes. Are you going to spend hundreds of hours crafting your perfect legendary item? Probably. Are you going to be happy with it? Yeah. <laughs> I hope this helped clear up and simplify some of the mystique that surrounds the Weaver's Will and Legendary Potential systems for newer players that haven't quite interacted with them themselves yet. And if you'd like to know more about how to farm exalted items and unique items so that you can have more chances at getting all the different items you want, you're really going to want to check out and tune into the next episode of Last Epoch Explained. I'll see you in the next one.